is going on, my YouTube friends? Guys, I'm going to tell you something. For the last, I don't know, 10 or 11 days or whatever, we, me and the wife, we both had COVID, both tested positive. Uh, she went and got tested. I used the home test, and we both, you know, tested positive. So today, uh, we went out, got checked today, so we are both negative now. So, And I feel a lot better, man. I'll tell you what, my head, my nose, my sinuses was draining so bad, man. But we kept our head up. Kept taking our vitamins, kept eating good, and uh, we're getting better. So I'll be going back to work tomorrow. Thank God I got to get out of this house. <laughs> Did some plowing, plowed some snow, plowed the snow with my neighbors, my dad, my aunt, myself. Uh, I didn't do the junkyard. It was a little too cold, you know what I mean? So uh, we just doing the best we can. But we was getting people plowed up, and uh, things are good now. You know, I feel a little better. I'm still a little stuffy, but I'm good. I'm good. You know, got to... Don't have to use a drift stand as much and uh, no cough medicine or nothing like that. So I'm good. And the doctor, she gave me some um, antibiotics. So I took antibiotics for about 10 days. I still got a few more. I'll take them till they're all gone. Um, I don't never usually take antibiotics that much. So that's probably what helped me because I don't take that kind of stuff a lot. So we'll see what happens. But anyhow, yeah, I got doctor's appointments for this year and all this stuff that's coming up here in a couple weeks. <laughs> I hate going to the doctor. They always seem to find something wrong, you know what I mean? But anyhow, guys, I haven't done much with the Fairmont. Uh, I dug out some of the stuff for the firewall, um, sound deadener and, and, and padding and stuff like that. I, I got it in the Fairmont right now. I, I don't have nothing buttoned up because it seemed like every time I come out here to work on it, I just got tired easy, you know? I mean, that's I think that's part of that virus. I just... I just, you know, got wore out easy, going to the house, take a nap. <laughs> oh, boy. And, I, and it's kind of weird because while we had this virus, man, even my wife, we had some strange dreams, man. I mean, strange dreams, you know. I mean, I don't want to go all into that right now. But, uh, yeah, just kind of, I'd kind of wake up and say, man, oh, man, what made me dream of that? You know, I mean, it's just weird. But uh, so I dug out the original dash that I was going to use for the Fairmont. After seeing all the prices and stuff like that on this stuff, man, I'm telling you what, I went in a sticker shock. And you guys know what happened. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. You know, it is what it is. Um, ain't the first time I lost money. Uh, but I found this dash. It's painted blue. Um, it used to be gold or whatever. It's not tan. It's gold. Um, and, you know, I have a bunch of stuff that I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to use it. I mean, it's it's not broke up. Um, it, I guess it's not really that bad. You know, I was looking for something perfect, but I'm not going to find nothing perfect because I don't care where I buy it from, whatever. Something's going to be wrong with it. There's going to be a tab broke or whatever. So in the long run, I'm probably better off using what I got, you know, so that's what's going to happen. So let's turn this around here and see what I got. I know you guys don't want to be looking at this ugly mug. So let's see. I got the firewall. I got just sitting up there. So nothing done, nothing finished. And, you know, I got to kind of figure out where I want to go to next on this build. You know, I mean, where I want to go to, what I want to do. Um, I think maybe you start putting the brake lines and stuff in it. I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about that in due time. Let's turn this around and see where we're so at right now. this is the dash. Somebody painted it blue. You know, at one time it used to be that color right there. And uh, so I, I had it. I was back over there behind the shed, and I pulled it out. And uh, a couple places, like this right here, you know, I went ahead and glued that all back together. And uh, seems to be holding pretty good. I'll put the clip back on there. It should be okay. Like I says, if I buy anything, this stuff's going to be broke. You know, it's not cut up or anything like that. You know. Uh, but, I mean, as far as everything else... Everything's in good shape. It's not cracked or nothing. Let me spin this around here. Ooh, I don't want to drop it and break it, do I? No, I don't. So as you can see, I got the glove box door somewhere around here, somewhere. Uh -huh. That you can, I can buy a glove box door for about thirty bucks. And so everything looks pretty good and solid, you know. I mean, it's not all broke up or nothing, you know. And I do have the original panels that go in there, but I think the ones I got, I got one up there on a wall right there. It's to a G86 or 85 or 6 GT Mustang right there, and that's probably what I'm going to use, you know. 
and the speedometer and everything. I got all that. It's over there in one of the boxes. And so we'll get all that stuff dug out and everything. So this is the dash. And, you know, the dash is in pretty good shape. And uh, I think I'm better off using this than spending 300 bucks or more, you know. And uh, I've already lost 250 on the dash, so I might as well go ahead and use this and uh, pretend like I didn't lose nothing, I guess. So let's get in the car here, and I'll show you what I got in, All in the car. All then. So, you know, the back seat sound dead in there, which I put, you know, kill mat underneath that. So I got that there, so that's in good shape. And then I have... This right here, all that liner right there. And it, there's a couple bad spots in it, but they're not too bad. You're not going to see it anyhow once I put the dash everything back in there. You know, so once I get the dash and get it cleaned up and everything, uh, the wiring harness I'm going to put in there. Or what do you guys think? You think I should go with the pain wiring harness or should I go with the original wiring harness? I think it'll be a lot easier with the original wiring harness. It wasn't cut up or nothing, so it was still in pretty good shape. You know, and then once I get an engine and get it put in here, then we'll go from there. But uh, I'm not painting any of the interior stuff and like that because it'll all be covered up. You know, and I do have different door panels, I believe. I just have to find them. You know. I need to find me a junk parts car is what I need to do. But I should have everything, though. I shouldn't need any of that. So... Like I said, once I get everything all buttoned up, up in the firewall and everything, and get the dash and get the frame, and I'll get in there. And once again, you know, get this dash straightened out and everything. Funky 5 -0, he used something to strip this paint off of his uh, interior parts. And I'm going to have to go look at that video and see exactly what it was because I don't remember. You know, because it's what's going to happen if I paint over this. You know, and you see how this is flicking off right here? Well, that's what's going to happen. So I need to go ahead and get that paint off of there. You know, you can see where it's rubbed through here and stuff like that. So I want to get some good paint. And then, no, I won't be putting the uh, stock stereo system in there. So I'm not really worried about this. You know, so we got some things going on. But like I said, I would have had a lot of this done, but... I was sick, man. I, I didn't want to get out. I didn't want to get in here and and uh, get out here and stay, you know. I mean, that was the whole thing. So I think this is probably going to be about the best dash I can find. I just need to clean it up, paint it. I have all the heater controls and everything in here, you know. Uh, yeah, all the good stuff. And the heater controls, <laughs> I'm not going to have no heat in this car, man. At least I don't think so, you know. Yeah. But I'll put everything in there and make it look good. So that's it. So that's what Mr. Mach one's been doing. He's been a little sick under the weather, him and the wife both. I haven't worked in about 10 or 11, 12 days, something like that. You know, I had all that stuff up on top of the cabinet. I'm glad to get that down. It don't look so bad now. You know, I'm going to paint inside the trunk and everything. Get it all painted up, make it pretty. Paint up all in the fender wells and stuff in there. This car is just so amazingly solid. It's just hard to believe. And then, yeah, buddy, we need to get that out and play with that, huh? All right, so let me turn this back around here. Well, it's nice putting this car back together, it really is, because I get to get some of the stuff that I got stored, get it out of my way, start putting it back in the car. You know, just, I got a lot to do, you know? And I, I'm kind of like, I don't have the money to jump up and buy an engine right now or a trans or anything like that. Cause I spent everything on this damn house last year and now I got to put these other windows in and stuff. So I have things going on. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna have to start spending day in and out at the junkyard or at, uh, at work, one of the two, you know, something. But uh, I just don't know if I should start working on the dash and the wiring or if I should start working on, you know, doing the brakes, the brake lines. I got all good brake lines. I got all the original brake lines. I should have no problem with doing the brake lines. Um, I just don't know where I should go right now, you know. And I kind of want to get this stuff done before I get it painted. But then again, I'm kind of thinking maybe I don't need to put this in there and wait till after I get it painted. 
Then after I get it painted, I'm gonna be like, shoot, I'm gonna get this thing all scratched up by putting all this stuff in the car. So that's kind of why I was thinking about getting some of this stuff done uh, before I get the car painted, so that way I don't have to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, just, you know, in the comments, throw down there, tell me what you think, what you think, you know? I mean, what's going on in that? Uh, but uh, actually right now, if I wanted to, I could set the car down on the floor and uh, do whatever I wanted to do with it, you know? But like I said, I just don't have the money right now for the engine. And, I'm, and, a, and a sweet deal came up on a 408 too. A real sweet deal came I just don't have the extra money to buy it right now. But we'll get it. We'll get it. You know what I mean? It, hey, we got time, man. We ain't got no money, but we got the time. Guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. New subscribers, old subscribers, you guys are awesome. And if anybody tells you any different, you tell them come see me, and I'll tell them you're awesome. Guys, have a great rest of your day, and hey, thanks for watching.